Hey guys, once again, another pre-video segment. Some things happened uh, at level 18, Bell Sprout learned Sleep Powder. I had to delete a move to make room for it, though. And the second thing that happened was that I finally caught an Abra. But let me tell you guys something. Catching an Abra is a pain in the butt. I got severely lucky here, and you have to get severely lucky to even catch one to begin with. I had a lot of very, very stupid failed takes, but I don't have time to show them all, so I'm just going to show one after this section right here. Uh, basically, what you want to try to do is put it to sleep if you can. Make sure you have a very speedy Pokemon. If you do, use it. Paralyze it if you can, or anything, just chuck Pokeballs. Sometimes that works too. But anyway, I do have a name plan for Abra. I'm going to name it after another Let's Player, my good friend Odinspack33. Don't have room for the 33, though, so it's just going to be Odin's back. And here is the ridiculous failed take. And I'm not going to speed this one up. I want you guys to literally get a feel what was going through my head at this point. So first I'm like, okay, I'll use Sleep Powder. Oh, wait, I'm not fast enough. Oh, cool, it missed. Okay, cool. Sleep Powder worked. All right, things are looking up for me. I guess I'll go ahead and use Wrap to weaken it. Oh, no, it woke up. Oh, well, I still got Wrap going, so it can't move, so... I should be okay for at least two hits. Okay, can't move. It's pretty low in health. Let's go ahead and use a Pokeball, capture this thing, put an end to all of this torture. Of course! It gets out right at the last second. Uh, okay, here's the actual video. Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Blue. And seriously... I am about to hire a Machamp to punch an Abra in the face because, my god, it took me so freaking long to catch an Abra. I finally did, but, oh god, it was just way too annoying. I'll probably be talking about that, like, on my little uh, pre-video intro or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, fight the Cerulean City Gym Leader. Uh, this is our Pokemon lineup. I went ahead and got everybody up to level 17. Uh, Bellsprout's at level 20 because it took so long to find Abra, and uh, my Bellsprout was too slow, so I had to keep leveling it up until it actually got to a point where it could actually attack Abra and get its damage down. So, yeah, that is why Bellsprout's at a much higher level than the others. But hey, at least this way, if I really, really need a Pokemon to jump in and take out what's left of the Gym Leader, I can, so... Uh, Bellsprout is going to be there as a safety measure, but for the most part, I want to focus on just using Eshmael for this gym. Uh, like I said before, the Cerulean City gym is a water gym. We'll have lots of water Pokemon to fight. Do not bring rock, ground, or fire type Pokemon here, because that would be a recipe for disaster. I do have my Geodude here, but um, I didn't really have anybody else to put in that position, so I was like, eh, what the hell. Okay, so first we have a swimmer who has a horsey. Horsey is just a plain water type Pokemon, so Pikachu should not have any trouble with this. Yeah, this is going to be pretty easy. So I'm probably going to take out the two uh, gym trainers, then probably heal and then come back. That sounds like a pretty good plan of attack. It's actually getting some pretty good damage on me, though, I have to admit, so... Huh, maybe Eshmael's a little lower than he should have been. But it's okay, he'll make up the level, I'm sure. Okay, so now we have a Shelter. Let's go ahead and use Thundershock again. Yeah, Shelter's a lot weaker, so this should actually be a little easier to take out. Alright. And that takes care of the swimmer. All we have left is another trainer that's up here, and then we can actually fight the gym leader. I believe this trainer only has one Pokemon, though. It's a level 19 Pokemon. But I think that should be fine. I think Pikachu should handle it. If not, I can always switch out. I just hope it doesn't do enough damage to the point where Pikachu won't survive. Which, there is always that possibility, especially if it has Horn Attack. Alright! Para paralysis. Nice. Oh, it used Peck. I don't know why it would use Peck. 
Keck is a flying move. <laughs> okay, well that's kind of stupid, but... I don't know, I'm still going to do this. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to switch its attacks, but now I decide to keep using Peck for some reason. But that takes Eshmael up to level 18, which will put him in a better position to fight the gym leader. But I'm going to go back and heal really quickly, just to make sure all of my Pokémon are in tip-top shape for this next part. Oh my god, though, that seriously took me about like 45 minutes to get an Abra. It was ridiculous. It sucks that Abras are already really hard to find, but they're also really hard to catch, too. And there was just, like, nothing that was working. Like, my Bellsprout wasn't fast enough, uh, Pikachu was fast enough, but whenever it made uh, Abra paralyzed, like, you'd always get through the par paralysis somehow. And uh, my Jigglypuff is way too slow. Like, I, I was looking at this earlier. She only has 13 speed. Her best attack stat is her attack stat. Or her best stat is her attack stat, I mean. So yeah, that's kind of... Oh, HP is also pretty good. But yeah, I need, to, I need to buff Jigglypuff up a little bit. But anyway, here we go, getting ready to fight the gym leader. I think everything's in order, so let's go ahead and start. Hi, you're a new face. Trainers who want to turn pro have to have a policy about Pokémon. What is your approach when you catch Pokémon? My policy is an all-out offensive with Water-type Pokémon. Okay, so here we have Misty. We all know Misty from the anime. Our first Pokémon is a Staryu, level 18. Pikachu should be able to handle this just fine. I thought about paralyzing it, but no, I think I'll just do normal attacks. I'll see how much this does first. Not as much as I would like, unfortunately. And wow, Water Gun does a lot. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, cool. Yes! Thank you. Uh, I could use Quick Attack, but I think I'll use Thunder Shock again. Just to make sure that it goes down. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now we have to fight Staryu's evolution, Starmie. I'm going to go ahead and keep Pikachu out. And the first thing I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to use Thunder Wave on it to paralyze it. That will make things infinitely easier. I mean, there's still always the possibility that it will get through, but at least this, at least at this rate, it won't always hit. Okay, there's Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam is actually pretty powerful, and yeah, it took me out pretty easily. That sucks. Oh well, let's just start uh, working on getting this thing down. Um, Geodude's not going to be able to do anything, so um, I guess we'll go with Madam Puff. Not much Madam Puff can do either. I could use Disable and try to disable some moves it has. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, but it failed! Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Ah, okay, well that was kind of pointless. Okay, I guess I'll put Spearow in then. Now with Spearow, I could actually lower its defense, but, um... Misty already used an X defend on it, so... Hmm, yeah, I guess I'll try to lower its defense. Unfortunately... The paralysis isn't really working that well. Not as much as I would like it to, anyway. That's gonna be pretty painful. Yep. Should've known. Okay, well, let's go to War Portal and just try to take this out with force. Obviously, the water attacks aren't gonna do anything. Tackle will, though. Well, it also has tackle, so this is gonna be a tackle war. I declare a tackle war. Also, I believe that Starmie also has Recover, so it's probably going to use that at some point, too. Not before I take it out, though. And there we go! Misty has been defeated. I really wish 
Jigglypuff could have done more in this fight, but unfortunately the game wasn't that kind to me. Okay, so we have the Cascade Badge. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokémon up to level 30 obey. That includes even Outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut any time. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. And you can also have her favorite TM, which is Bubble Beam. Uh, I might actually use that TM on Jigglypuff just to give it a better water move. But um, I might not do that right now. But yeah, what, what uh, she meant by Pokemon will now obey you up to level 30. Uh, whenever you trade a Pokemon over, uh, there, it has a tendency to actually disobey your orders because it's not you're not its real trainer. But if you have like a badge like the Cascade badge or something, it will actually obey you until it gets to like level 30. At that point, they'll stop obeying you. So that's uh, basically what that effect does. But anyway, I think we're done with that gym, so we can actually move on. I think I'm going to try to get some experience for some of my stragglers here. Actually, Madam Puff's really my only straggler right now. It's a lot weaker than I thought it was, but once it evolves, uh, things should definitely be a lot better. I'm going to evolve it once it learns a Body Slam. Once it learns that move, I'm probably going to evolve it then. But anyway, this house has actually been robbed, and they're stupid for not looking in the backyard, because here's the trainer that broke in. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and fight this guy. It's a Team Rocket guy, from the look of it. No, I do not believe you, because that is a stupid, stupid excuse. Okay, so Rocket wants to fight. Going to use him a chop. Which, my Madam Puff is not ready for that, so... Let's bring out Spearow. Spearow's actually going to evolve soon, I just realized. Oh, not even just Spearow, but uh, Bellsprout is actually one level from evolving. It evolves at level 21. It's at level 20 right now, so... Uh, we might actually be seeing Bellsprout's evolution before this video is over. Maybe. If my Pokémon can freaking survive these fights, my... I don't know why my Pokémon are just so weak at this point in the game. Never really seemed like they were that weak before, but... in, like, other playthroughs, but... I'm really starting to see otherwise in this playthrough. Okay, so here's our first encounter with Drowsy. Uh, let's see. This one knows confusion, so I need to keep that in mind. Let me try putting it to sleep. That might make this battle a little easier if I put it to sleep. Not that I think that this will really help that much, but... Still, at least to give me some ability to do damage here. Okay, there's confusion. That's gonna hurt. Come on! We put him to sleep before, we can do it again. Stop waking up so early. God, whenever I'm asleep, it seriously takes like five turns before I wake up, and now whenever I do it to anybody else, it takes only like one turn before they're up again. Yeah, that's just the way this game works sometimes, though, unfortunately. I actually need to start focusing on uh, Geodude for a while, because I'm going to need Geodude for the third gem. Which is not too far from now. But yeah, we defeated the rocket guy. And he's going to leave quietly, and he's also going to give us TM28, which is uh, Dig. A very, very, very cool move. It's one of my favorite moves, and I'm going to hold on to that and give it to a Pokemon I'm going to be getting much later in the game. 
Not too much later, I'd say in between the uh, fourth and fifth gym, I think. Maybe third and fourth, it depends on how I decide to order this. But I'm going to heal my Pokemon really quickly. And uh, we're going to keep going down this next route. I'm going to have to end the video pretty soon, but I think I still have some time. Maybe about like 10 minutes or something. Or a little less than 10 minutes. Okay, so if we go over here, we can't go through this route yet because we need cut. So we're going to have to keep going south. And I believe this is Route 5 down here. Uh, there is some Pokemon grass, and we can find a new Pokemon here. So I'm probably going to stay here for a little while until I find it, so be right back. Okay, here we go. Finally found the Pokemon I was looking for. Uh, once again, version exclusive. You can only get this Pokemon in the blue version. If you play the red version, you'll get Mankey instead, and you can't find Mankey in this version. So yeah, that is how you get Meowth. Also, you can only get Meowth in the blue version. Like, you can't even get Meowth in the yellow version either. There are some Pokemon where you can actually find, like, both in the yellow version, but, you know, one of each in the blue version and red version. But there are some Pokemon where you actually need, like, one specific version no matter what, and Meowth is definitely one of them, and Ekans is actually another one, too. But, there we go, we got Meowth. And I do have a name planned for Meowth. This is kind of a second dedication to another user I've already given a dedication to. But it's not necessarily the same person. I'm going to be naming this Pokemon after Madame Morio's cat, Gooba. Because when I think cats, I can only think of Gooba anymore because of how awesome she is. But anyway, uh, this building right here, this is actually the Pokemon Daycare. And this version. There is no Pokemon breeding. Uh, basically, the only purpose the daycare serves in this game is just to level up your Pokemon levels. That's it. You can't actually um, breed Pokemon in this game, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because I actually like Pokemon breeding, and it's also easier to get like a lot of the Pokemon in the game by you know backwards breeding and whatnot. And I feel like a Pokemon raised from scratch will end up better than like, say, a Pokemon that you catch at, like, level 20 or something. That's just my opinion, though. But anyway, before I continue, I'm going to go back and heal really quickly, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back here again, getting ready to go inside a building that's down here. Uh, there is actually another building. This will actually take us to Saffron City. However, we're not allowed to go into Saffron yet because we need to give this uh, cop a drink of water. And we can't do that until much later, so we can't really do anything about that right now. But we will later. For now, though, let's go in here. This is actually an underground tunnel that will take us past Saffron City. And will instead take us to Vermilion City, which is our next destination. You can also find some hidden items down here, but it's easier to find when you have the item finder item, which we obviously do not have that yet, so let's not worry about it and let's keep moving. On this route, we have some trainers that we'll have to fight. Let me, uh... Actually, I'm going to put Spearow in first for this battle, because I believe this is a bug catcher. There aren't many bugs out here. Yeah, okay, well that's definitely a bug catcher. You can spot them when uh, they say stuff like that. Okay, so we have Weedle. I think we can definitely use Spearow for this. Why the heck do you have a level 16 Weedle? I mean, seriously, that thing should have evolved twice by now, and yet it's still a Weedle. I do not understand the logic there. I think it does get worse, though. I think you can find bug catchers with, like, level 20 Caterpies or something. I think, anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if there were... 
But yeah, I'm just gonna use Spiro to sweep all of these. Gonna lose some speed right there, unfortunately. That really doesn't seem right, how a small bug like that could move faster than a giant bird. Not that Spiro is like a huge bird or anything, but still. Oh, come on! Stupid poison. You always get it at the worst time. You always get poison at the time when you do not want it at all. That's like a common trend for the Pokemon games. Okay, well that bug catcher is done. I believe we have two trainers right here. Uh, you don't actually have to fight them because they're not facing outward, but... I think I'm going to do it anyway. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. Why? Uh, I was interested in your conversation. Okay, so this junior trainer has a Squirtle. Oh wow, level 20 Squirtle. Another Pokemon that should have evolved by this point. But anyway, let's go ahead and take this out. We're probably going to lose just because my Spearow was poisoned right here. Actually, could have used Fury Attack, but I have a feeling that Squirtle has enough defense to the point where Fury Attack's not going to do very much. Well, that's not too bad, but yeah. It could have been better. I think Peck would have probably been better than that. Oh! Wow, he's actually letting me live. Okay. Well, if I get five hits, I can definitely win this. But... Ah, nope. Only two times. Oh, well. Oh, well. I think I'm going to go to Madame Puff then. Because she desperately needs experience right now. My god. Her defense is not bad, but it's not that good either. I'm just kind of <laughs> blown away that her attack stat is her best stat. Okay, and she's mad that we're also trying to listen in on this conversation. I'm sorry, when I see two people talking in the middle of the road, sometimes I wonder what they're talking about. You could have picked a much better place to have a private conversation. Like, yeah, go home or something and have it, my god. Okay, so let's take out this junior trainer. Yeah, Hyper Fang doesn't really do that much against a heavily defensed Pokemon like Geodude. Oh, Pikachu! I think this is the first, like, trainer Pikachu we've seen outside of the ones you can find in the Viridian Forest. That's interesting. And why do you keep using that? You have Quick Attack, it's not going to do very much, but it's better than using something that won't even work. Okay, so Junior Trainer lost, and now we're going to keep going. I think we have another Bug Catcher right here. But I'm going to leave Shots in front, because I think that this one actually has a Butterfree. I've never seen you around, are you good? No, I'm a terrible trainer. Yep, here's the one that has the Butterfree. It's level 20 and it does no confusion, but... If I can just land one rock throw on it... Or get put to sleep, never mind. As I was saying, if I could land one rock throw on it, I could actually... Catch it pretty easily. But no, it's not going to be that nice to us. Let's go ahead and switch to Eshmael then. Butterfree can be quite challenging to fight. Especially when it's at a higher level. I'm surprised that Thundershock's not doing as much as it could. I think it's because of uh, the high special of Butterfree. Ah, oh, dang it. And sleep is not helping either. Ah, oh, dang it, he woke up way too soon. Or way too late. 
Okay, well, let's put Madam Puff back in, I guess. Oh, great, you're gonna poison her. That's nice. Come on, let's just finish up this battle. We can do it. Well, of course, we have to get down to the very end before we can actually do this. Making this challenging for me, game. I don't approve. Well, either way, we, we leveled up to level 19, which is nice. Oh, and we can actually learn Defensive Curl. Which, uh... I actually would rely more on Defensive Curl than Disable, so I'll go ahead and use Defense Curl instead. I can live with that. Okay, so we beat the Bug Catcher, and I believe we have two more trainers before we reach the end of this route. Uh, I do not think I'm in the right mindset to fight them, though. I mean, I assume War Turtle and Bell Sprout could finish this off by themselves, but uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, stop the video here, go to a Pokemon Center, and then come back fresh in the next video. So this has been Pokemon Trainer Rob. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Blue. I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon shenanigans. Later, folks.